Construction. The construction and expansion of the school seems never ending, particularly the construction being done on CU's dorms. The master plan meeting Wednesday at the C4C addressed the future plans to expand the school and to make CU's dorms more sustainable. Williams Village North will be a great example for leading for the rest of our development. Um, it will probably be the largest black and residence hall once it opens, and that's a model we can learn from and continue on with the rest of our development. Plans have been drawn up to reach the school, and so far, half of the dorms on campus have been transformed into sustainable living quarters. The major focuses in the dorms are water and energy conservation, using automatic lights, low flow fixtures, and less lighting in hallways. The difficult part of the improvement of sustainability comes from the current state of the economy in Colorado. It is also important to try to get a LEED certificate that verifies environmentally friendly buildings. The money we're spending for sustainability in any of these buildings, including this building, it's a small amount of money and actually I have some real good data that in many cases the money we're spending for LEED certification and sustainability for the building is roughly 1% premium on our capital investment. With sustainability in the dorms becoming a big part of the CU's expansion plan, where exactly is this money coming from? That funding is coming from uh, housing and dining services. So it is the students' uh, money that goes into dorms and staying in the dorms that really finances those, those activities. So far, CU has been able to transform one dorm a year in hopes to keep on this track. The Sustainability Committee urges students and the rest of the CU community to voice their opinions and give suggestions on how to make the university even more sustainable. Comments can be made on the website for the flagship 2030 project. From News Team Boulder, I'm Leanne Smith.